Hi folks, my name is Mas for YouTube channel Lockmaker360 and in this video we are going to talk about the MQTT communication protocol. I will start with uh, talk a little bit about uh, the protocol itself and then I will uh, install it on a Raspberry Pi connected to the Arduino and if that is set up I will uh, control an LED with the Raspberry Pi and with uh, my personal computer. After that I will show you how you can use the protocol in Python because with uh, just a few simple lines of code you can control any device which is uh, connected to the protocol. Imagine you have all different kinds of machines and sensors connected to the internet. But those machines and sensors are all independent, like small islands in a big blue ocean. For us, it's important that the machines can communicate with each other. For example, if the temperature sensor measures a temperature of 30 degrees, then it's time for the uh, air conditioning to start working. Or on a ice cold day, you want to start the heater from your house. 20 minutes before you arrive at home. We can handle all those uh, communication between those independent sensors with our communication protocol called the MQTT. And this works with our broker. So uh, we got our temperature sensor, which is connected to our microcontroller. And this measures our temperature of let's say 30 degrees. And the sensor publish this message to the broker. So uh, the, if our sensor transmits a message to the broker, then we call this publishing. And the broker on its turn will republish the message to all its subscribers. So every sensor or machine which is connected to a broker is our subscriber. The air conditioning receive the message and a receive message is called a subscribe. So if the airco receive the message that it is uh, 30 degrees, then it thinks, wow, that's freaking hot. And then it uh, will start the engine to cool the room. And with this we can make all different kinds of combinations. Like the coffee machine is not interested that it is a 30 degrees. But when the car is like a uh, 15 minutes drive from home, then the coffee machine starts making a uh, fresh coffee. Another combination could be if it is uh, 15 degrees, then none of the sensor is interested. But when it is 15 degrees and the car is like 15 minutes from home, then it will start the heater. And that's a little bit how you can uh, use the communication protocol. Several companies provide a MQTT protocol, but the one I chose is from uh, Mosquito. And to uh, install this on a Raspberry Pi, you have to copy those lines of code and paste them inside the command terminal. And you can find those command lines inside the description of this video below. Uh, this is uh, my Raspberry Pi over the Wi-Fi on a remote desktop. I put all the lines inside the terminal and I will uh, scroll down so you can uh, check your own script. If you have some mistakes, that's all. And after the installation you have to install it with this command line. That looks something like this inside the Raspberry Pi terminal. And this side over here is the remote monitor from the Raspberry Pi. And this side over here is my personal computer. And to test or everything is well installed on the Raspberry Pi, type in this command line in the monitor. And if you hit enter then it's just waiting. And on the computer side uh, I also have installed Mosquito. Uh, that's a whole different subject. I will put a link to a helpful website in the description of this video about how to install it on Windows. On the Raspberry you do not have to uh, Mosquito. It's, it starts by itself. 
but on your personal computer you have to uh, start it and you do that simply by typing uh, mosquito and then it will run and then you have to open another terminal and I made a publish message to the IP address of the Raspberry Pi and I give it a topic called test and a message hello MQTT and if I hit enter and you see that on the, the Raspberry Pi is uh, receiving the message. So the software on the Raspberry Pi is, uh, is correctly installed. Inside the Arduino EDA, I'm gonna upload this sketch to a Wemos D1, which has a, a Wi-Fi chip on it, the ESP8266. And for the uh, MQTT protocol, we need to download this library. It's in the library manager from Arduino. And in this sketch, you have to place your router here and your password. And the IP address from my broker, from the Raspberry Pi, in my case, is this one. So you have to find your own IP address. And on the Vbus D1, I connect an LED on digital pin number four because that's the one next to the ground and what this uh, sketch does is it uh, receives a message from the broker in this loop and it will write it down in the serial monitor and if the message is equal to one it will set the LED pin high so the LED will burn and if the message is zero it will set the LED low and that's uh, basically all what it does and this is the default port from the protocol oh one more important line is this one we have to uh, subscribe to our topic and the one we do is we subscribe to LED status that's important to switch the LED on or off okay the White box is the serial monitor from the Arduino. This box is the Raspberry Pi. And this is the personal computer with a terminal. And this is the LED on the Vmos. And you see the LED is off. And I'm gonna type a command in here, one. And if I hit enter, you see it turns the LED on. And over here it says that the LED status is on and in the serial monitor you also see that there is a message. If I open another terminal on the Raspberry Pi and I put this message in there with a zero on the end, hit enter, it turns the LED off. It's off in the monitor as well. If I put this message LED on in there, which has no match inside the if statements, and it only prints LED on, but it doesn't change the status of the LED. Let's uh, switch to the Python side to uh, run the MQTT protocol inside Python. You need to install a library called PAHO MQTT. So on your Raspberry Pi in the terminal, you simply type uh, pip install. And if you run on python 3 make sure you type pip 3 and this is how that looks like inside the uh, terminal let's open uh, python i open python 2 but to make sure that uh, it is installed uh, successfully you uh, type in there uh, pow uh, point mqtt point client and if you get no uh, syntax errors then it's uh, well installed go to a file a new file and inside the new file we uh, place those simple lines of python code we import the library we import our time library and we make our loop and we publish to the MQTT network a message uh, with a topic let's start this just as we did in the Arduino code 
and we give it a message one so that will turn the LED on then we slip for six and we write another message a zero and we use the uh, IP address from the broker which is from the Raspberry Pi uh, so run this and you'll see it turns the LED on and after a few seconds it turns it off on again and we have a nice uh, blinking code so uh, this is uh, the end of the video please have a look on my uh, youtube channel logmaker360 to see more uh, videos about the internet of things and arduinos sensor reviews and stuff like that uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching